Terrorists in Tehran proves once again his weakness on the world stage and his failure to understand the threat that is posed to America by radical Islam. Now, sadly, we shouldn't be surprised because back in 2008, then candidate Obama, remember, he said this. But I reserve uh, the right as president of the United States to, to meet with anybody at a time and place of my choosing if I think it's going to keep America safe. And since taking office, his foreign policy blunders have been on full display, from the gifting of U.S. military F-16s and Abrams tanks to former President Mohamed Morsi in the radical Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, to his failure to act on his words in the so-called red line regarding Syria after its government used chemical weapons against its own people. Now, it's clear the president does not have a clue and that he is more than comfortable from, quote, leading from behind. Here with Reaction, Act for America, President Brigitte Gabriel, and from the America Together Foundation, Mike Gauss is with us. Welcome both of you. Mike, Thank you, Sean. is Iran a state that has killed Americans in Iraq and Afghanistan? Are they fighting proxy wars? Uh, are they fomenting terrorism around the world? Simple question. Is that regime doing all of that? No, Sean. First of all, they, no. were, they were our friends. No, they were our friends before 1979. I didn't ask you about 1979. I'm at right now. Did they Sean, not kill Americans in Iraq and Afghanistan? Let's go through it one by one. Did they? Yes or no? They did, but yes. I want to give you a prelude to that. I want to give you a preface to that. Are they fighting a proxy Had, war through Hezbollah and different radical groups in the Middle East? The answer is yes. They're not fighting with us. No, I didn't ask you if they're fighting. I said, are they fighting proxy wars and are they a terrorist state? And the answer is yes. They, fo they, they are spreading uh, terror. I wouldn't call them a, to a terrorist. What they're doing is terror, but I would not qualify what? them as a terrorist state. Wait a minute. What they're doing is terror, but it's not, terrorist, it's not a terrorist state? How can you say that? Yeah. It is, they're not committed to do terrorism. Once justice is done, wherever that is, their conflicts are, they're going to back out. Like they're doing peace with Israel, with the nuclear treaty now. This is the right thing to do. Uh, I'm glad Rouhani is helping their people put food on their the table. Day before, Had we the decided, week before this agreement, he was talking again about wiping Israel off the map and destroying the Zionist state. One week Sean, that was before the, the agreement words. was announced. Sean, Sean, Iran has never said those words. Those yes, words he are did. mistranslated. No, sir. He said I his right here. wife is Zionism, not Israel. They're not talking about Israel here. They're talking about the Zionist policy, which is wrong. All right, let me read to you what he said. He quote, on the Wednesday before the Saturday announcement, Brigitte, he said that the Zionists are rabid dogs, they can't be called human beings, and vowed that their state will soon disappear. So I don't know what Michael's saying about interpretation, but he said it many times. Uh, and he said it Zionism, many times, and the Iranians have Israel. been Regime. saying it for many times as well. Uh, they have been saying it against the Jews in particular by name, El Yahud. They have been saying it for years. Uh, they hate Israel. They want to wipe Israel off the map. And, and look, Sean, just two weeks ago, they had the largest demonstration ever on the streets of Iran, calling death to America, death to Israel. Uh, this is at the same time while we are negotiating with these people. Uh, the only time in the Islamic world you come to the negotiation table is to negotiate the terms of your surrender. Right now, President Obama has delivered America to Iran as weak, as, uh, as unable to fight, as unable to win the war, and that is now empowering our enemies uh, to the point where Hezbollah on their Facebooks and in the articles in Beirut today coming out and already calling Iran the Islamic Nuclear Republic of Iran. Yeah, and they're, by the way, and Hezbollah is happy about it, and all the terrorist groups in the Middle East are happy about it. Michael, how could, why would you trust any deal to, that does not allow inspectors into every Iranian nuclear facility? This deal does not allow inspections of every nuclear facility. I am with President Reagan's statement, trust but verify. Without verifying, you can't, you can't do it. Michael, no, no. you can't get verify. That's the point. Sean, right now they have agreed to freeze the development for the next six months. In the six months, we are going to develop a full-blown policy. This is a good step for Israel. It's Israel, for the Mike, first time in history, has come to the doors of the security. If the if if he can control on this, if he can have a hold on this, if Iran can develop only for peaceful. Right. 
Iran lied to the world for years. Iran has been lying to the world about their nuclear plans since 2003. This is nothing new. They have been deceiving the world. This is part of their tactics. And this is something that we need to be aware of. We have to remember that with Iran, we are dealing with a mullocracy that base is with an Islamic mullocracy that bases their uh, everything they do on their religious philosophy. And right now, they are basing this whole deception of the West on the Treaty of Al Hudaybiyah, which is an Islamic principle of war. It's a strategic way to defeat your, to defeat your enemy uh, that was exercised by Prophet Muhammad in 628. And this is exactly what the Iranians are doing. They are basing their lies and deception to defeat the West, uh, basically buying time in order to finish their nuclear development plan. Hey, Mike, and we are falling for okay, okay. Mike, you got to wake okay, up. Bridget. Mike, you, you didn't get it about I the Muslim a... Brotherhood. You don't get it here. These are radical right Islamists. It, that they want a worldwide Islamic caliphate, and they are willing to kill to get it. And I don't know what part Shut of that you're not understanding, because that's the reality of what this regime is about. Sean, I told you, Brotherhood will not be there in power. They are not. I was damn right about it. No, and you again, were wrong. They is got not good. in power. No, I'm not. You said I they wouldn't right, get in Sean. power. They would get in power, but the people you didn't would say take that. it back. I did say that in March of 2011. I was reviewing the videos. I did no. say that. That we will pull it back. The people who fought for this freedom are going to get right back. Right, and go. they did. And there is not going to be a caliphate ever at all. I have told you that. All right. Mark, will not mark be my there. words. This, this, this is his yeah. Munich moment. This is it right here. And we will, as my mother used to say, rue the day. All right, guys, good to see you both.